Welcome along and we continue the army analysis series with this second army from the brand new DLC that's that's just come out. Um, and we are on the Crusaders, the Crusader 1155 army with Byzantine 1155 allies. And I have to say, I haven't played with this army yet, but I've just been messing around with some of the selections and working out what might be the best army to put out and this just looks to me um and and to what i like to play with and how i like to play um a little a little bit more balance i like i don't like really cav heavy armies um you know but some of these new armies these these new middle eastern armies desert nomad armies um you know, we covered the Syrian states. That was my first army from from this new DLC, and um, that was a pretty balanced army, if you remember. I think I had a, about ten infantry, about fourteen cav. But this army, it's just for me, it's better. It's better, and I'm going to go through some of the reasons why. Um, it's just. The 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 infantry is really interesting, really interesting. Um, if you remember with the Syrian State Army, I had pretty poor infantry. It, it was um, some raw spearmen, defensive spearmen. That was most of my infantry. And I think I had two armored um, spearmen, and then that was about that was about it. Um, I think I might have had one. Was it two of these units, these mixed bow and uh, spear units? Um, but when you look at this army, I mean, look at it. I've got four of the armoured defensive spear. Now, you know, I'm always going on about uh, armour being quite expensive in this game and, and so on and so forth. But, you know, when you've only got how many infantry units i've got 13 so it's bigger than my uh, army in the syrian state um list but when you when you're kind of relying on infantry when when it's you know a fairly small army any little bit extra helps so in that sense i'm quite happy to pay the 42 for these armored defensive spearmen because my army my infantry is is you know there's just not that many units so in that sense, I think it's nice to pay extra for armor. So we've got four of those. So they'll do a decent job. Um, we've got these units. Now, I haven't played much with these units. Um, quite a lot of players like them. I think they might be key to a lot of armies in, in this new DLC. These Pavisias uh, and Crossbowmen. Um, basically, they can fire and fight. They're like an upgraded version of the Crossbowmen. And the Crossbowmen are already excellent. You know, I'm really happy with Crossbowmen and, and how they've played. Because they're swordsmen. They're not just bowmen. They're swordsmen. So, you know, they can fire and fight. But this is the next level. This is the next level. Because they've got some armor versus protected so they look really cool and they're spearmen you know spearmen are, are always generally better than swordsmen especially if they're not impact so you know these are just swordsmen so it really is the next level um you know you can if you especially you've got i've got five here you know hold your line focus on the enemy unit or units and fire away and then if you don't disrupt even then you've still got a chance because there's defensive spearmen with some armor so you've got to remember as well that they're better than the regular defensive spear who already do a fairly decent job on the battlefield they already you know hold and uh, the line generally quite well do well often against better units but you know, they're only protected. These guys are, you know, some armor. They've got some armor. So they've got better armor. They've got the opportunity to fire a volley or two of, of arrows off. And then they're the spearmen, you know, with that 100 POA. So 
these units look really good um, um, in conjunction with my armored defensive spear that's a pretty solid kind of mini army there and then I've got my crossbow which I like so much so I'm quite excited by this army list um, and then you've got you know you've got nomad horse archers who are quite you know quite a handful um you know in a in a big mass firing on cavalry they can easily disrupt cavalry um just tough to play against and then you've got the light versions as well i've got two nomad light horse archers and skirmishers so i've, I've kind of got the best of both worlds i've got some decent infantry better than that syrian state list and yet I've still managed to bring out some some horse archers, which are deadly against Cav. To back me up, I've got two units of knights and Byzantine heavy lances. These are knightly lances. I think they're probably a bit of a bargain at 53. So this list looks really good. Um It'll be interesting to see how it does in the league. And, you know, there, there are actually a few combos with this uh, Crusader list. Um, there was some of the Arab. You can take Arab allies. And then you've got some of the um, superior quality armored horse archers that maybe people would like to take. So you could move that, you know, in a different direction. You could go more cav heavy, um, which maybe some players would prefer. But for me, I, I tend to like balance. And, you know, I haven't even mentioned yet that I've actually taken the guard, you know, with axe. I mean, this is, um, I mean, it doesn't look great, does it? I think they could maybe make it look better. <laughs> the knights look great. Dismounted knights look great. But this is uh, 87. I, th I think you could make it look a little bit better than this. Um, okay, we've got, if we turn it a little bit, we've got some nice shields. Um, you know, Varangian Guard, I mean, I'm, I might, you know, even tonight I might set up a game and see how this plays out because I've even managed to take, and I hardly ever get the chance to take out, um, such a great unit, highly superior, well-armoured unit. Um, but, uh, you know, I've still got a decent infantry selection. I've still got a decent cav selection. I've managed to take it and, it, and you know, it seems to fit in well, um, in this list. Skirmishers, okay, not so many, but, you know, when you've got so many crossbowmen and mixed spear and bow units, it's not such a big factor. And plus, you've got all of your mounted bow as well. I mean, most of these units, um, you know, I've taken apart from the knights and the lances. These are all bow. So this is exciting. And I don't know much about this unit, Armoured Spearman. Um... It's just got some armor. It's basically a little bit of an upgrade on your defensive spear, uh, as far as I know. So, you know, with the points, you can take it. Um, I was maxed out on armored spearmen, unfortunately. So it's just like an, uh, an upgrade on the defensive spear. So it's a solid unit. It's a solid unit. You know, with this kind of army, um, you could hold the enemy in place with your infantry. You've got so many bow, mixed bow. Um, you know, find what kind of, this is a bit of a crazy map. I mean, you've got these hills and stuff. You know, find a good spot and fire away at the enemy. Um, and then with your mounted bow, I mean... I think for some of the European armies, it's going to be tough to play this kind of army. 
because um, with your mounted bow and your mixed bow, you're going to kind of force the enemy to attack you or run away. Um, and a lot of the um, European armies, they've got defensive spear or defensive armored spear. Not that many armies have uh, offensive spearmen or dismounted knights, as an example. So a lot of them are defensive. So, you know, they're not going to want to charge in so much. Um, plus, they haven't got that much cav. Papal List had four that I, um, that I looked at in my setup. And, you know, other, other armies, maybe five or six. But um, they're going to be at a disadvantage against all these mounted bow and lancers and knights. So it's going to be tough, actually, for those kind of armies, infantry-based armies with uh, units that are not that mobile, not that maneuverable. Um, even the defensive spear, you know, they don't have armor, they're protected. So armies with a lot of standard kind of defensive spear units, they could really be um, put under some pressure. Um, mixing it up. Okay, so I had a quick look. Um, if you wanted to get rid of this wonderful guard unit, let's get rid of it. Um, and if we got rid of maybe one of the light archers, this gives us 122 points. We could take uh, some of these. Some of these can. We could take the Turkopoles. You know, we have got more bow. <laughs> and we've got 42. Um, I, well, I went for crossbowmen. There's a few things you could do. You could take defensive uh, spearmen if you wanted. Depends on the map. Depends what you wanted to do. But if you want even more firepower. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Just eight. Five mixed bow. Three crossbowmen. And two skirmish units. Plus these extra... You know, mounted bow units. It's like Mongol light, isn't it? You've got half your army... <laughs> with these kind of nomad horse archer units that are really they're really tough to play i mean the thing about the mongols is that um because they're really just cavalry um you can kind of beat them back fire away at them um you know disrupt the cavalry with missile troops and so on so you know and then you've usually take an extra cav and you can charge some of these units and you know maybe um get them in melee and then and then uh, disrupt and destroy them um but then when you've got so much decent infantry it's just going to become more complicated so i suspect this kind of army Good old Crusaders, and I've taken the Byzantines out with them. Uh, they're, it's going to be. A, I'm, I'd love to play. Um, it's a pity I'm not playing uh, in in the league this uh, this season. I'm going to I'm going to play in, in next season. Um, this would be a great a great army to try out. I think. Um, because whenever you've got a, a lot of calves, it just means that you can go on the offensive a lot, a lot e um, easier. You know, if you if you if you haven't got that much cav or it's not that great, then you're always worried about your flanks. But with this kind of army, a you've got a lot of decent cav, and then b, yeah, these these troops are all ranged units so whenever any cav comes close you can fire at it and uh likely disrupt it so it's got a lot of plus points uh the map 
looks um a little bit hilly rough uh so that's gonna be advantage for your mixed bow you know take the rough ground the get the elevation fire down on the enemy um you know the rough ground and the hills and stuff doesn't affect um mounted bow so much mounted bow can practically go anywhere because obviously it's got it doesn't always want to get into melee it just wants to fire so you know you can just move around and fire upon whatever comes in front of you so um i think this map might be might be quite good for this type of army um you know if you're fighting i don't know german imperial one of the armies I said is excellent. I mean, it's got so much heavy foot. It's going to struggle a little bit on this map against this kind of army, probably. Um, so, yeah, let's um, let's see. Okay. Um, well, this is a provisional grade, I suppose. I, I haven't actually played this. I, I mean, I would... Am I even? I might even give it an A minus. I think I'm going to give it an A minus because it's quite similar to the Syrian states, but it's just got better infantry. And I really like the idea of the mixed bow. I haven't used these units, so I'm looking forward to using them. So they can be really effective um, with your knights, with your Byzantine lancers, nomadic uh, horse archers. I don't know. I I think there's a lot of potential. I think there's a lot of potential in this army. So A minus for me. Um, and, and let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's about it. Um, thanks for watching. And let's see if we can get a few more videos out before the start of the season. And, um, you know, as, as the season progresses, or if you've already played some games with this army... Let us know in the comments below what you think. Um, maybe I've missed out something. Let us know. Um, maybe with this Crusader army, you would prefer to take um, some of those Middle Eastern uh, allies. So, yeah, let us know. Okay. See you again soon.